right? In the second um, receiving area, we receive our fruits, our raw materials, where we inspect and grade them, because we're going to be paying our, our suppliers based on the different grades, grade A, grade B. All right, then we, we weigh the fruit, and then we, we wash them. Uh, we're going to be producing on a per batch basis, on a batch basis. All right, so fruits that are in excess of our batch basis are sent to the storage area in our warehouse. We are stored at 7 degrees centigrade. All right, those that, are, that, that are, do not meet our specifications are sent back to the producer where we get refunded for the fruit. The fruits that are washed are then air-dried and sent to the preparation area where they are peeled and deseeded. And in, in there, while the, the fruits are drying, the packaging material are sent to the packaging area where their um, labels are, are placed on them and then they are prepared for, for the fruit. After deseeding and peeling, the fruits are then inspected for any soft rots or any fibrous growth. Those that do not meet the specifications are sent to the compost bin. And then we go to the slicing and dicing. Slicing or dicing would depend on the customer preference or what the consumers want based on that particular batch. All right. Then we, we send it to the packaging area where we weigh the package to ensure that each consumer gets 250 grams of fruit as stated in our specifications. And then to make sure that all the packaging and everything is done all right. Then we inspect it again to make sure there's no foreign or any other objects other than fruit inside the, the containers. Those, those we do not meet our specifications are sent back or sent to the compost bins. Then they are sent to the storage area where they are stored at 7 degrees centigrade to await distribution. Nice to have you back. I know you've been waiting patiently. Um, we've been deliberating, so we're going to um, give you a few of our comments first and then we'll put you out your misery or put you in your happiness. There we go. Now, what we found in this stage is that um, a lot of challenges we saw coming out in, in terms of defining what you do, particularly for the teams that were involved in the service sector, define, defining that product. It was easier for those involved in the, the tangible product for sale. Um, Tadias throughout may have said, focus, focus, focus on your output. Don't let all the other um, supporting services or other things clutter your mind. But once you understand, yes, what you're producing, what steps you will be involved with, then it's easier for you to define the processes. The flow charting, for instance, we saw generally a lot of misconception, again, with um, misunderstanding the whole exercise to be the whole business development exercise versus focusing on your product. Look at foundation. You need to be more focused as to what you're delivering, what you want to do, what is the service you want to impact and stuff like that. And you need to do some more research. That's very, very important. And today the person in the bottom two is foundation. Welcome. Back again with big start all over again, right? Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? Nervous, Nervous, Nervous I know. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I want to see focus, as I keep mentioning mm -hmm. in, this, this, in this episode. I want to see teams focus. Climbers, um, you have a good product, a good product, an online product, but you need to know who your competition is. You, know, you need to know that and, and don't think just Caribbean 2 is, is, your, is your competition. It goes more than that mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Um, health boots, I think. You came a bit confused today, slightly. Um, throughout, you seem very focused on what you wanted to do and stuff like that. And, and today, I'm, so, I'm seeing you want to do, do a gym, you want to do kitchen and stuff like that. You have to understand your product it really is management and consulting health, healthiness um, for people and stuff like that. So you need to go back to the drawing board and, and focus on that. You need to get, get going good and stuff like that. 758, again, you, you started off well, right? And then it, you were not focused today as well. Um, I see the comic books come into element. Uh, at one point, you were into designing. Next thing we heard, manufacturing. Design is, 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 your, is your thing. So stick to designing, all right? And then comic books will come afterwards and stuff like that. So stay focused with that as well. Um, Gianni, you had an excellent flow chart. Um, it, it really tilled everything um, you wanted to do. Um, really what we wanted to see and stuff like that. Okay, Gianni. 
you actually won this milestone this week. Mm. You did, um, obviously we were thinking people didn't understand what we were talking about, but you really nailed it. And you did a good job with your flowchart and you understood your product. You even had a kitchen design. Mm -hmm. uh, wonderful. So very good job. So congratulations, you've won the milestone good this job. week. Mm -hmm. okay. um, health Pets, you're a good group. Um, I think that you're just, what you want to do is a little bit bigger than, you're not at that stage yet. So we might take it in little chunks, little bites and go back and just maybe think about expanding on just picking one or two things and sticking with that. Just like Alison said, the consulting and the coaching, because those are strong things that you are good at, and then maybe add the others along the way because you have your five-year plan. Um, climbers, um, I, I like what you do. I think still it's a bit, even though I like the product, I really would need you to maybe understand the end product a little bit more, a little clearer. So when people say climbers, they go, oh, this is what it is. Okay, a clearer picture. Um, 758 Urban. And unfortunately, you are in the bottom two. But congratulations to the rest of you. Yeah, good, good job. Okay, good job. Mm -hmm. Welcome back, team. I know it's a very uh, trying moment. But I want you to take a look at what we're going to say. We're going to give you some good comments to take away for the future. And I want you to not be discouraged, whatever the outcome is. Whether it's not your big start today, it could be a big start somewhere else tomorrow. So don't be discouraged by that. 758, you've been strong all along and you um, kind of lost your way a little bit. You need to go back to basics and, and with that t-shirt and your designs and show us what you what you do best okay foundation once again the service that you want to provide is a very needed service but you need some more expertise and you need some more groundwork to do before that can can start but I think you really have a, a good idea and I know you're very passionate about it um, foundation you need you seem indifferent about your market and you need to really work on that um, and your expertise is very very vital and you, you need to continue working on that and it will hold you in good stead if you do. Um, 758, you need to understand your product. You really, really need to understand your product. I don't think you understand your product. I think you all got confused and as such you went off the track, track a bit. So unfortunately, um, this is not your big start foundation. Team Foundations, the last remaining all-female team, has been eliminated after making a commendable effort on the big start. Their idea is a monumental one for St. Lucian mothers, so we must encourage them to get it off the ground. The big start truly wishes these bright young women well, and we sincerely hope that they get the expertise that they need to execute their business ideas. Next week on The Big Start, who's the boss? Who does the hiring and the firing? How exactly will these businesses operate? Which team has a weak organizational structure? Human resources and operations is the next milestone. My milestone today uh, going to deal with operations, organization, and HR. I expect all of you all to ace it next week, okay? That's the least of my expectations. Do you, what he did does. you guys see that last shipment that just went out? Physically see the shirts before they left? We take reports. Did we you have see no, the shirts we didn't see physically see that. So that's I didn't the problem. physically see that. That's the problem. And you you're copying an attitude right now. Find out which team aces it next week on the big start.